Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Swiss DC Dota 2 Championships. Morality Claw, I will be your caster for today on this game, Pulse CH vs Pudge Nudge. Now, unfortunately, we will have to be picking fake a very short change of plans. Not a very good change of plans, if you ask me. Unfortunately, one of the other people to get up. Everybody gets set. So, we will be casting these two teams then. Um, right. Hiding effin life stealer. Well then. Bugs be bugs, but um, Source 2 just came out, so we can expect uh, some change there. Anyway, I will be presenting to you Pudge Nudge then. Daffy will be playing the life stealer, who is now unglitched. Bugs Bunny, or Bugs, will be playing Queen of Pain. I will be played by Brat Pitt. <laughs> Good name there, and all coward will be playing Earthshaker, and last but not least, on Team Pudge Nudge, Beast Aquino will be playing Spirit Breaker. Now on Pulse's side, we have a Spectra being played by Terrible One, Bristleback being played by Noob Tagger, uh, Windhund playing Lena, Pure Skills, <laughs> yes I hope so, playing the Silencer. I think that was actually the Crystal Maiden, uh, being played by Pineapple, and the Maiden and the Lena combo. Now quickly over the strengths and weaknesses of each team, Pudge Nudge have a good early game, the lifestealer could be a bit weak considering it hasn't been that picked often, often picked. They have a Spirit Breaker though which has been an absolute pub stomper as well as completely dominating the in the pro scene. However he does seem in a bit of trouble, Bugs is going in with a bit of an engagement with the uh, Shadow Strike. Um, however Gentleman's Agreement does lead to both teams. Getting uh, good. And Noob Tagger does seem to be in a bit of trouble here. Orkawa getting the Fisher off with Lifestealer getting the kill. This is going to help Lifestealer a lot. Nice kill in the early game does mean that he should be able to... Well, I seem to be having some technical difficulties. Um, bear with me for a All right, I do not know what's going on. All right, there we go. Um, don't know what happened. I'm sorry, guys, but you didn't see the. That was embarrassing. I am so sorry. What the heck happened there? Anyway, kill on the life stealer. So. Um, pretty good, gives him a nice start, he's going to be safe laning of course. Or Coward will be double pulling here, nice nice to try and pull back the Bristleback who will be playing off lane. A Bristleback has shown his worth in day, in these last days. We saw a match yesterday where Bristleback did play some very nice games, was basically the leading carry, but the thing is he's not the carry, uh, it's Spectra this time, he has to play the off lane. Which is a slightly worse role for Bristleback. Winterns will be supporting him, fighting, stacking the camps. Mr. Maiden is a good jungler. Uh, good in the jungle. Uh, Frostbite is very good at killing creeps. It allows her to farm efficiently. And of course, we have to talk about the Queen of Pain, or maybe not. She is one of the best mids these days. You almost had that. Um, although she's against a silencer, however, as you can see, her base damage is way higher than the silencer's base damage. The whole. 10 base damage higher. Really nice. Oh, Earthshaker seems to be looking for a gank here. Will he have the Fisher skills? Does, is unaware. Nice Fisher block. Bugs blinking in. Good scream. This should be an easy kill. Earthshaker. Ooh. Oh. Range on Bugs was able to kill him. So that's already two kills going the way of Pudge Nudge, and the mid is now down. He was not able to get a bottle before that engagement, meaning. He will probably be a bit delayed then. 100 gold, it's not much. Oh, freeze on Akimo. Ah, but the combo failed. Fortunate. But Life Stealer managing to kill us. Bristleback bot. Probably with assistance of Lion. X and Stun was used. Thought you had that, didn't you? Ow. I'm going to just check this pig thing. Purse skills, still being able to hold on. I mean, Bugs does not have any mana anymore against the Silencer. 
Um, what can you do? Yes. Yes. I've sh uh, this person, I mean, having a pretty nice time, Spirit Breaker is up here. He's, he's got nine last hits, which is okay-ish. I mean, not as good as you want, but getting XP, he's already level four. Plus it's a level three Spectre and a level three. Um, yes, pure skills as well. Does not look like to be having the best of times, especially versus Green. He's a whole 12 kills ahead. What can you do against that situation? He can harass Queen of Pain. Oh, charge coming in from Spirit Breaker. This does not look good for pure skills. He's silencing. Oh, Daffy. That is um, very good. I just. Oh, was in the oh. Guess what's happening in the Dyer's bottom tower. Um. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, I mean, Daffy's just doing well. But that way, he's got three kills already on the bra the bristleback. Um. Iron has been helping him out a lot. Looks like they want to act the bot lane right now. Or just try and get another kill on Bristleback. Either way, it should be pretty easy, whatever they're planning on the bot lane. As they now have... Oh, there you go. Charge on the Bristleback, but there's a TP reaction coming in from Windhood. Stun is here on Daffy, and Daffy looks like he could be in a bit of trouble now. Bristleback is going to start chasing. Nice fish up block from Earthshaker, though. Keeping them out of line. TP back from Breast, back to base to heal up. Yes, this Earthshaker has been performing well. The fishes have been on point till now from what I've seen. But nothing to complain there. Windhunt TPing reaction in was very good. Probably not. I mean, Noob Tagger could have survived that. Uh, a triple dive from... Might have survived, he might have not. Or well, either way, the TP reaction was good. Another charge on pure skills. Bugs T uh, preemptively blinking ahead. Oh, Knight's Curse there, but it's not going to help. As bugs will just, you know, dream it off. Beast, however, once again, having taken a lot of damage. He's participated in already two ganks, which is okay. He's got a bottle. He has boots. He's got the sh out shield. Um, actually, he doesn't have a bottle. That was Bugs' bottle, of course. Ah, uh, nice Fisher block onto Windhunt, who ends up dead. And now Noob Tagger looks like to be in a similar situation as he is caught out. That was five man actually bot. They need to start... Uh, pushing a tower or just making things happen because no one five men at one lane fine now Daffy is low on health Beast is teaching back to base um, let's have a look at Spectra Spectra is farming pretty well up here he's got 23 last hits not as good as the as Daffy or Bugs but you know what it's okay but usually the benchmark around 10 minutes is 50 last hits you want that and it doesn't look like she's going to get it especially with this charge coming in and Bugs rotating top Looks like Beast wants to charge this. Yep, he's going to commit to this. Bugs is there to help. And there you go. Apparently my game sound off. Sorry about that. I'm pretty sure the game sound is on. Dyer's top tower. You know the drill. I'm not sure what's going on. Yes, there is no, there is no problems. Well, back to back to the game. Uh, PMS pickup by Spectra, who just died. She's gonna have to watch out. She's 27 last hits in. At you need, you need a bit more. Oh, there you go. Beast of Chemo onto the crystal blade. Nice block there. Probably securing the kill. Spectra walking over. Ooh, nice freeze by Pineapple there. Will they be able to pursue? They will not. And, um... That's actually a wasted rotation. However, it does not matter. Winterhood is now actively looking for Daffy. Oh, they found him. They will not pursue. They will not dive the tier 1 tower. Good decision to make. And now Pulse need to start making things happen. They need to start doing stuff like this. Going around, zoning the trainers, and start making ganks happen. 
Uh, Punch Nudge have been doing that the entire game, and they've been just using that to stay ahead. If we look at net worth, they're already 5,000 ahead after 8 minutes. Um, we can look at the net worth on the side of Punch That's 4,000 on Bugs Bunny. A nice stun on Pure Skills. And it looks like, oh, Noob Tag, it looks like Bugs was able to get a good scream off here. And pick up an easy double kill. I'm sorry, did you say stop? Beast is looking for some hot ball to try and zone out, but here's a freeze. And there you go, charging onto Terrible One, but there's a silence coming out from Silencer. Oh, that was obvious. Nice freeze again, and this will probably be a dead Akimo. If he can't get the kill on Pineapple, he will actually get the kill on Pineapple, and he will die, though, for that. And our coward will back off. In fact, he might actually get pursued by this. Queen of Pain, meanwhile, getting a kill mid. Or coward getting hit by the Spectral Dagger, but they will not pursue. Do they have ult? They do not have ult. Dina. Uh, no ult on the Lina, so no able to, no ability to kill her. There. Or coward does not have much, but about to get arcane boots. That's what he's going for. Charge in on Lina. Charge in on Windhunt. It looks like they're actually going to dive this. No, no freeze up. He doesn't have ult yet, but however, Lion is there to stun and hex, meaning Windhunt will not be able to get any stuns off. Terrible one looks in a bit of trouble as well, getting Fisher blocked in and easy kill for Beast Akimo. Pineapple will freeze up all coward. What is she planning though? This might this won't be a mistake. She's gonna end up dead for this. The blocks are there, Bugs is coming top. Will they pursue behind the tower? They will she freezes all coward again, but I don't think that's gonna help her. There you go. Bugs now on a monster killing spree. He's zero deaths in, eight to zero. That's something you do not want to have on a Queen of Pain. He is well and truly fed. He's already actually finished, almost finished her Orchid, which is completely crazy. And they're just going to go at it. They're, they're doing what they should. Go around ganking with the Spirit Breaker, having a completely global presence. There you go. Pure Skills has hit. And another stun in just to make sure he's dead. Bugs will take the kill and is godlike after 10 minutes. Looking at net worth, huge amounts. If we look at the net worth graph, that's 10,000. And XP, 7,500. Or Pudge Nudge. And they just lost top again as well. Pulse, they're 17-1. If they want any hope of coming back from this, they need the Bristleback to start finding farm. And he doesn't have any farm. They maybe can go in on Lion here, but... Uh, uh, they don't have any secured stun. He's actually going to probably lose this. Yep, he's going to lose his life here. Take a fall. Diving a bit too deep. Being a bit too confident. Couldn't do that. Now they need to have the entire team top. If if they terrible one may get the farm he needs. Got 2,200. He's at radiance or whatever he's gonna guy. I mean, what do you buy on Spectre? You go to radiance. Well, you want to go in Manta. Maybe you want to get a casual Yasha. Radiance is, however, risky at this stage. It's 12 minutes in and a thousand gold off from the sacred relic, let alone the recipe. So he needs. Uh, he needs to. A few more kills, and in this case, it looks like Hudge Nudge might actually uh, be sick. Oh, Coward is playing it risky here. They do know that there are five men up there. Nowhere else to be seen, and Roshan isn't, isn't an option. At but meanwhile, Lifesteal is just farming up. He's got drums, so he's going a more of an early fighting build here. Um, Whatever, he can really get anything next. I mean, got that nice orb of venom for. So here we go. Bugs looks like he wants to initiate on. Your skills may be baiting here. Here's Global Silence. There is no ult on the CM. However, there is ult on the Lina. So, oh nope. CM's actually going bot. Not a good decision in my opinion. Terrible one is going to be the first one to charge. Nice cream. Global Silence is out, but that's not going to help. Uh, terrible one here. Your skills is the next one to fall here. Meanwhile, Noob Tagger is on the back line and gets killed by Lion. Where is Lina? Lina decided to TP bot. They did. Oh, bad decision. Lifesteal are actually getting a kill there. Now they're looking for Pineapple. Pineapple is found. And that's a dead Pineapple. There you go.
Duffy will pick up another kill. It's 4 0 3 on uh, the Lifestealer, and it's about, uh, what was it, 11? No, 12 0 2 Queen of Pain. She doesn't have, she already has 60 last hits, but you know what? She's been farming up heroes, and you can see that under net worth. Top second on Daffy, and actually looking looking pretty strong. He's going at Yasha. So definitely going for damage here. And you know what? He doesn't. It, it's really. I mean, he's got the thousand three hundred health. We can check hero levels actually. Uh, nine. Thank the supports are about the same levels as the carries on. So pretty good stuff there. Yes, shout out to man. Hey, Zach, okay, moist. I love you too, mate. Uh, again, four man from Pulse, the mid lane, and a terrible one trying to get some farm. He's only 2,200, still 2,200. He needs a thousand more. He needs a lot more for Relic. If he wants to get the Radiance, I mean, you want to switch items, maybe? Find salvage something. Uh, there's a chemo once again. Pure skill is going to maybe take a fall. Will they get a counter kill, though? No, they probably will not. Terrible One is pursuing. Ah, yes, he's going to TP out. Terrible One has no... There was reactions coming in from three people mid, but... Uh, it really be done. DM has Tranquils though, and she manages to freeze bugs. Ooh, nice stun stacking there, and the single target damage is huge. Horse haunt in on Orc Coward. What was that? Probably just wanted a bit of kill there. Let's see how net worth changed in that. Uh, that was a really significant swing, and it's obvious. Queen of Pain had 1,200 gold. I didn't actually see that. Queen of Pain had a lot of bounty on it. That's a significant swing, however, they are Pudge Nudge is 14,000 up and 12,000 I mean, it brings it back down to 12,000 but they, what they really need is like a, almost a throw from Pudge Nudge the, the graph is about to rise XP, yeah, it's a slightly better but uh, still not good they're, they're literally clumping up mid here, they have to clump up mid, there's no other choice um, yeah, Pineapple does have Tranquil Makes it happy. Face boots on the lean as he's trying to get the Yules. It's going to be a late Yules. What I just noticed is that they actually haven't upgraded the Courier yet, which is uh, interesting. Would you not upgrade? Fine. Fine. No wings then. Um, well, that's an interesting play. Meanwhile, all Coward is about to finish off Blink. Uh, pretty okay ish time for a Blink. I mean, really, they, the, the, what their initiations are currently at is um, mainly just the Spirit Breaker, followed by the Queen of Pain. The Blink isn't that necessary. The Yoth Shaker has been showing his worth, however, there hasn't been an opportunity where he's been able to show his initiation skills, and looks like Lina has been spotted out by an Invis Bugs. They will easily take him down. 13-1 for Queen of Pain. He will remain top of net worth, even though Winhunt did get that 1,200 boost, but it's not helping. It's, he doesn't have this yours yet. He only has face boots. He needs to watch out. If we check Spectra's build, she is actually going a different build. She decided to get a vitality boost instead, giving up the Radiance. Most likely going for. She's actually going to get charged here. I'm guessing she's going to get a Vanguard, but that's going to be delayed as well if she gets killed here. The Global Silence will not save anyone. Pineapple is there. There's a Silence Pudge. No, Bugs might actually die here. Fisher Block was too late to save him. Silence up will kill him off. And it looks like they want to switch onto a Chemo now. He will simply charge away. Oh, nice freeze there. And it looks like that might actually cost him his life. Alter is dropped by the CM. Good kill. It's 555 gold for the CM. That gives her a Blink Dagger, which is um, actually around the same timing as the Earthshaker. Yes, the Earthshaker has also just received this Blink Dagger. They actually upgrade the Curry as well, so that kill was definitely worth it. Especially a bit of overconfidence from Pudge Nudge there. They can't let that happen again. Check net worth. It's down to 12,000 now. Uh, it's 10,000 for 
XP. I mean, they can still have carry with the uh, life stealer, but you have to watch out for the Spectre, who is farming slowly. Fortunately, the fact that she's going the Vanguard build means that uh, she'll have damage items quite late. In comparison to the life stealer, who has some pretty good items. He's got drums. He's got. Oh, they're looking for him. Oh, he's got drums. He's got a Yasha, so he's got damage. What the heck is Daffy doing? Oh, well, there, Rage is activated, going in on Windhunt. There's Beast to back it up, and Bugs to just scream of pain that. Noob down, Noob Tagger is silenced, meaning he cannot squam calls anymore. Freeze onto Daffy, but that will not save anyone here. Oh, it might, let a Beast might end up dead here. He decides to go for a risky place here. They're going for the stun lock, in fact, there's Lion with the Hex, so... The lock was complete, and that was a five-man wipe. Use this opportunity, guys. Take Roche, take a lane. There you go. 2,300 gold swing. In fact, it's about 3,000 gold swing for Pudge Nudge. 14,000 on net worth, 12,000 on XP. Really good game for them right now. And yes, they will just take this too. Meanwhile, all coward is rotating top. <clears throat> Probably want to get the Lena here. And that's what they've been doing the whole game. Yep, there you go. But missed on the Blink Dagger. Bugs is there, though, to secure the kill. Haunt is up. Where will she haunt to? Lifestealer, in fact, getting a kill on Crystal Maiden. And he infests. There's no way they're going to kill him now. Yep, there we go. They could have actually switched on to Bratz. <laughs> Awesome name you've got there. Uh, here comes Beast Akimo. He's charging in but decides to break it off at the last second. They're all retreating back to base. Good decision by him. Here two towers will be falling shortly. All that's missing now is the tier 2 mid, which is arguably the, well, let's say, most important tier 2. Beast Akimo will now be charging on Obadi. He decides to break it off again. Um, so, yes, Pulse now want to engage, they, they're de-warding, they're de-warding. There are five men here, um, Stun is out, misses Silencer. Oh, in fact, there's actually, Beast Akimo is initiating, actually, terrible one. Oh, what an Echo Slam! That was an amazing Echo Slam, there's Silence up on uh, Bratz, but he's in care. Oh, the Laguna Blade just does not kill Beast. In fact, that Echo Slam, while well, as great as it was, does not help in any way. As free fall from Pudge Nudge's side. Good ult by the CM, who was not interrupted that in entire duration. They get the Spectra, but what did they lose? They lose 3,200 gold and a lot of XP. The entire team was able to do that, and that's a very good gold swing. Although, it's about 20,000 down to 50,000. Still, still doesn't look like a several situation, especially since Bugs just got another kill. He has, in fact, built himself an Aghanim Scepter, which is good. Terrible one is still building his or whatever he wants to build. Not gonna, it's not gonna happen at at least 25 minutes. If it's a Vanguard, 25 minutes is what he doesn't die. Bristleback just finishes off his Vanguard, he's buying a buckler, so obviously Crimson Guard is mine there. Uh, meanwhile, if we compare to Daffy, who is now Sanjid, Yasha, and Asha. Really, really potent damage going to come out of Daffy in the late game. He's going to, in fact, he's going to reach the late game. He's going to reach his late game earlier than everyone else. So that's going to be pretty hard to do. Stun coming in from Windhunt, but it's not going to save her against Beast. S um, freeze from uh, Pineapple, but, uh, you know, Bugs just uses that 40 second cooldown to its fullest. Silver Edge is now up on Spirit. Very good item as he's able to go in this while charging and not into Edge. Crimson Guard is up on the Bristleback, which means they can negate some amount of damage. Well, CM is trying to build Onion, so I'm going to say the Oak up for the Jess to be maybe. It's a good item. I'm make sure that she can't just get stunned. Ooh, terrible one. Not a good decision from your behalf. 
Unfortunately, you can't juggle here. Good creep, good Fisher block. And there you go, that's the uh, best Spirit Breaker comp. Good in public. Ooh, Noob Tegger. You don't want to be walking around there, do you? Now, uh, they have to. They're, 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 they're stuck in their base. I mean, there's yours up on the wind, but there's nothing much you can do with it. Level 11, so. Oh! The damage is just too much. Pineapple is the next one to fall. All the supports are dead. The only one left is Noob Tiger, and he cannot fight against this team. Meanwhile, Daffy's just farming up their ancient. Gonna get 1,800 gold. You could get an Abyssal Blade. Just upgrade that Bash Abyssal Blade and get that guaranteed stun, which is definitely a good decision. If he really wants to, he could also go for a more aggressive route. Go for a Heart or something. That would be a suggestion. But here we go. Nice Echo Slam into Death of Terrible One. Bugs is there to back up the Noob Tagger, but Noob Tagger has full bristle back, so he's not going to take as much damage. There he is, he's feasted up, and Daffy is going crazy, whereas Bugs is just 23 and 2. Stop the Bugs! Stop the Bugs! 25,000 net worth up on Pudge Nudge's side, with 25, approaching 25,000 XP. So, amazing game for Pudge Nudge here. And it looks like Daffy will be actually building up towards a missile. Or a heart. Both are expensive items, so we'll see. Meanwhile, Queen of Pain actually manages to get herself a Desolator, probably going for a more damage-oriented build. To be honest, I'd get... Um, I'd, I'd rather get a Scuddy, but considering they don't have too much reduction on their team, definitely will. The Spirit Breaker can get himself a... Can get himself some production in the form of medallion, but it's standard. Daffy, well, Daffy doesn't have much in the form of reduction. Any, well, probably not get much in the form. Of, uh, maybe an AC, but considering the expense that uh, the gold he's saving up, he's saving up for the buyback, which does, or he's getting himself a very expensive item, which I'm presuming is either going to be a heart or an ability. Most likely an Abyssal Blade, considering he's already got the Basher. There you go. Rosh is going to fall. The Desolator attacks, reducing its armor by 7. A good pick up there. There's also actually a Veil on Lion. Howard has escaped, so lots of there. Uh, Noob Tagger is still trying to build up something. He's only got 3 gold, so it's not... Crystal Maiden still trying to build up whatever to a Rogue Club. I'm saying BKB, and it looks like... They will spot it out of Pulse. Nina is getting a self Sages Mask and Ring of Regen, which, um, wise, I believe. I don't know what you can get, actually. To be honest, the first thought would probably be a medallion. Not sure what you can be getting with that Ring of Health. Oh, she got herself a soul, of course. Um, for that easy gold, but uh, she doesn't have the health just to really activate it. And especially if she's targeted first. Meanwhile, Spectre, Spectre is just on the farm, then that's... I mean, look at her. 4,100. In rising. So she always rises. Spectral Dagger onto Bugs. They want to capture him, but you know what? It's probably just a bait. Here you go. Wave of Terror is out. Pineapple will be the first one to fall. And that's already one of the supports down. Uh, Akino will be... Oh, Nice break off on the Nega Strike there. But Winhood would still take a fall before he's able to actually do much. Bugs has to get out of here. Bugs will not be able to get out of here. But you know what? He doesn't care. They're killing the entirety of the team. And he has the uh, Aegis. So, here you go. And they'll just probably take this tier 3 easily. Akino, meanwhile, is just going deep. The dire might want to mine the top but, you know what? You know what? There you go. Fortified. Terrible one can't even fight Akino. Guess of course he can't. He doesn't have any finger turn. Net worth is down the gutter. 16,000 on the Queen of Pain. 14,000 on Daffy. What is actually Daffy just got to get? Uh, nice freeze there, but it's not going to stop. Never strike. Good Echo Slam. And that would be the end of that. Team. Trouble brewing at Dyer's top rags. 
Demon Cave is actually up a more coward than. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of crit damage you got there. Uh, all cowards will take some silencer damage, but... Daffy, meanwhile, is... There's the GG. There you go. GG is out. Noob Tego will pro will he be the last one to die in this game. Ancients exploding, and that was the first game of this best of three from Pudge, Nudge, and... Pulse Gaming. Pudge, Nudge. Uh, Completely dominant throughout the entire game, these early ganks securing them. Nothing much to say really, the results speak for themselves. Anyway, that was it for game one, we will be back later for game two, just stay tuned. Now, morality clear.